John Taylor. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and uh, anybody know how long you have to cook a chupacabra? Imagine if scientists could harness the brain power in this room. Revolutionary, I tell ya. Handle those screws carefully. You can force another player to answer immediately by hitting your screw button. If they miss it, you win extra bonus dollars. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Team Sasquatch, a new drama on the Angst Network. He's mysterious, he's elusive, and he drives the girls wild. Like him. Mondays at 8. Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. <laughs> and so it begins. Get ready, time for question. One. First, not so smart Alec. What is Alec Baldwin most likely to scream at a dude with a camera who works as part of the paparazzi? Fuck you, you fucking paparazzi! I'll fuck you in the ass, you paparazzo! Get fucked with the paparazzi! Or... The singular term for paparazzi is paparazzo. And as a rule, paparazzi are borderline vile, but you still shouldn't fuck them in the fucking That's just sinking to their level. Here's one for you. Drake a leg. Ah. Oh my god, for a second there I thought I saw my ventriloquist dummy Billy O'Brien again. I've been having visions of him just showing up at the most in our two Ah! One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. It really is you. It's always me, you dunny. I was hoping you were just a mirage. A mirage? That we're not in a desert. Oh, speaking of which, where would you be if you saw me as a mirage in the Gogi Desert? Pakistan, Mongolia, Peru, or Mexico? <laughs> yes, the Gobi Desert is in China and Mongolia. <laughs> Just don't sneak up on me anymore, Billy. Okay, no troddling. Uh, someday I'm gonna murder you. I'm sorry, what was that? Nothing, I didn't say anything. Dance with me, Disco 3. Try this on for size. Shacking up. Where should a large shacko be worn on Shaq O'Neal? His extra large ears? Player one, who's gonna get it? I owe my player four, you're getting screwed. You've got five seconds to make a choice. <laughs> player one, your screw worked out. You want even more cash? Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. Shackos are a military-style hat with a large feather in the front, often worn by marching band leaders. It would be the most ridiculous thing he's worn since Kazam. Players one, two, and three. Do you believe in big feet? Oh, well, you should, because you just won. The autographed poster of Kitor, the sexy Sasquatch star of Team Sasquatch on the Inks Network. If you think Bigfoot was sexy before, you ain't seen nothing yet. -y. This wrong answer of the game got you $4,000. Nice job. Next up. Russian ladies looking for young men. And stop the train, it's a dis or dat. Player four? Your score's looking a little thin. You take this one and try and fatten it up. I am going to list off seven things. And for each one, I want you to tell me if it's... Something that happens to Anna Karenina in Tolstoy's classic novel, Anna Karenina, or... A Justin Timberlake song. If it's Anna Karenina, press the square button. If it's Justin Timberlake, press the circle button. Now, I need the rest of you to pay attention. Choose an answer before player four, and if player four gets it wrong, I'll split the cash among everyone who got it right. Okay, let's move. 
adultery, childbirth, murder, amnesia, suicide, future sex, nothing else. Apparently you don't know the classics, and you don't know much about Anna Karenina either. I keep meaning to reread Anna Karenina, but I've been waiting for a time when I really want to fall into a deep, deep depression. Here's a good one. Woody or wouldn't he? What would it mean if Woody Allen were an alleged pedorthist? He's been accused of touching shoes. He's been accused of touching grapes. He's been accused of touch. All right, player two, let me know who's getting screwed. Player four, you are so screwed. You got five seconds. A pedorthist is a doctor or healthcare professional who focuses on feet, especially shoes and inserts that can help with pain relief. Now look, I'm not saying he's a shoe doctor, and I'm not saying he's not a shoe doctor. But the one thing we can all agree on is that The Curse of the Jade Scorpion was a terrible movie. Player two, this screw does not have a happy ending. We've finished round one, and player one is in the lead. Who knows what might happen? Don't forget, all the questions in round two are worth double. And remember, you got those screws sitting there. We don't want them getting rusty. Say hello to Pup All Night. Considering their lifespans, which dog from the first Puppy Bowl would be the least likely to be alive to watch Puppy Bowl 11? That adorable poodle puppy? That adorable Great Dane puppy? That ador- You got a player for it. Pick someone to screw! Player one, you've been screwed! You got five seconds to pick an answer! Uh-oh... Player four, that was a very nice screw job. Let's see if you can make this really hurt. Player four? Sweet dreams. Player three? Player two? As a general rule, the bigger the dog, the shorter the lifespan. So the Great Dane with a life expectancy of about seven years is, um, probably not going to make it. Oh, we're going to get some angry posts on our Facebook page about this question, I can tell. But it's not my fault, we live in a world where horrible things happen! Question 7! Why not try? Beautiful millionaires are just so relatable. Say the incredibly down-to-earth Jennifer Lawrence decides to go skydiving. If on her way down-to-earth she reaches terminal velocity, what down-to-earth thing might you hear her say? Wowzer, I could not be going down-to-earth any faster. Aw oh, man, I'm going down-to-earth slower every second. LOL. A falling object or adorable movie star that has reached its terminal velocity will not speed up anymore on its descent before hitting the ground. It's falling as fast as it can. But even if she fell to her death, I bet Jennifer Lawrence would leave the most adorable crater. Follow me down to the sea. Oh, Coming up next, Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, Yo. or Uranus? Closely associated with Miranda and Ariel. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein. Player three, who gets your screw? Oh, you're screwed, player one. You got five seconds. Miranda and Ariel are two of the larger moons of Uranus. And you can't have moons without Uranus. Hey, we were supposed to have a tuba there to accentuate the butt joke. Where's the tuba guy? Uh, he was in a car accident on the way over, so he, he, he's, he's dead. Hey, trombone guy made it! Can't get rid of that.
that screw so easily, player three. Open wide for... I caramba! I'm a cold-blooded killer! Say Bart Simpson decides to start going around attacking authority figures with his slingshot. If it turns out like the story of David and Goliath, what might happen? Principal Skinner will die after getting shot in the forehead. Chief Wiggum will die after getting shot in the gut. Mayor... David slays Goliath after slinging a stone into the middle of the giant's forehead. So that's how Principal Skinner might meet his untimely demise as well. But it really wouldn't be that much of a loss. Springfield is literally crawling with people who sound exactly like him. May I introduce... I'm gonna need two oceans of calamine lotion stat. If the 80s hairband poison were like poison ivy, what part of them would give people a rash? The fumes from their hairspray, the oil in their makeup, the silk on their rockin' clothes, or the ink in their tattoos? <laughs> Player one. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> Players two and three. Player four. Coming in contact with the oil on a poison ivy plant is what causes the skin to break out in a rash. So if the band poison were similar, it would probably be best not to touch their oily makeup. In fact, it's probably best not to touch any part of the band poison. You have no idea where they've been for the past 25 years. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 big ones if you're right, 2,000 gone if you're wrong, and don't forget... Remember the clue! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Climb time! What did these guys climb? Good luck!
Costco beer taste no good. This is Glug Lightsville. Glug Lightsville is the only light beer that tastes like beer without as many calories as beer. Sit ups and lifting rocks, punching cops right in the teeth. When Glug Lightsville bottles are empty, no beer comes out, so you know it's empty every time. Wearing shorts, sweating a lot, hoping this will get Jenny back. Glug Lightsville comes in a bottle with its name on the label, so you don't get confused or give it to a baby. Rock hard abs and glistening pecs, drinking beer while exercising, getting tipsy, massive chafing, no pain, no gain, be a cool tattoo, get dehydrated, don't take breaks, water shows the babes your weakness, must get babes to make Jenny jealous, Jenny must know you're doing alright. Glug Light's felt. Glug Light! Hi, I'm Kyle Pepper. And ever since I was a little boy, I wanted to be a professional baseball player. Well, now I'm 36 and going nowhere fast. So that's why I'm starting Kyle Pepper's Professional Baseball League. We only have three rules. One, everyone's welcome regardless of gender or race. Two, every team starts with five runs so they don't feel bad. And three, every Tuesday night we trade spouses and experiment sexually. Okay, okay, you probably just said, I can't believe what I just heard. You start with five runs? Tryouts are this Thursday at 6 in my backyard, with a small tickle party starting at 9. Kyle Pepper's Professional Baseball League. I can't wait to meet you!